We've all heard these names Flurona and Deltacron thrown out there. But what do they mean? Now, oh I got Flurona, or I have Deltacron. Well, what does that mean? Well, Deltacron may not actually be a thing and could be lab error, but if it is, all it means is that this version of coronavirus, isolated, displays structural protein similarities of both Omicron and the Delta variant. Flurona is quite simply infection with both influenza and coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2. This has happened many times before because remember, SARS-CoV-2 is not the only coronavirus. Influenza is important as it is flu season. Remember, it is a negative sense single-stranded RNA virus. Once it binds to our cells, its genome needs a viral dependent RNA polymerase to replicate. There are actually four types of influenza, influenza A, B, C, and D. They, just like coronavirus, have structural proteins like hemagglutinin or HA, neuraminidase or NA, NP, M1, and M2. Hemagglutin and neuraminidase are what our immune system recognizes and what we vaccinate against. Influenza A and B are the most important, and likely influenza A is probably more important than influenza B. When looking at influenza A, there are 16 different subtypes of the HA and nine different subtypes of the NA in different avian strains of influenza A. This means there's a reservoir of differences that our immune system can overreact to. This causes pandemics of influenza. In fact, all four pandemics were essentially caused because of this concept of antigenic shift. The H1N1 of 1918, the H2N2 of 57, H3N2 of 68, and H1N1 of 2009. Luckily for influenza, we have therapies that inhibit neuraminidase called Tamiflu or Oseltamivir. And this year, of the 23,000 or so strains out there and just people have been infected, none of them seem to be resistant to Oseltamivir but there's also a new antiviral for influenza called Veloxivir or Zofluza. It inhibits a cap-dependent endonuclease, an enzyme needed for replication. Eventually, SARS-CoV-2 will become influenza-like and we will have plenty of antiviral treatments available in addition to effective vaccine. Thanks for joining today's episode of Medicine Deconstructed. I really appreciate you guys being here. We're here to arm you with some information. Please come back next week for some more ammunition. Thanks again.